One of the most common questions I get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did for our viewers on YouTube is create a free mentorship course that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they get started. But please take note that there is limited seating every single week. So please reserve your spot at myinvestingclub.co. The link is in the description. What's up guys, it's Harry Haas here. And I'm just gonna be kind of going over, um, I guess like the slower market um, that's kind of been, um, you know, it's it's been slow for a little bit. So I'm gonna be kind of talking about that today. And um, you know, I haven't really been making that many trades. So, um, I mean, for me, like it's, it's hard for me to do like a, a like massive weekly recap or, or really anything like that. So I figured what I would do is that I would just kind of um, you know, just talk about like what I think is going on, uh, what I think is happening and, you know, how you guys can, uh, you know, just get better from it. Um, so I guess this rant is, you know, obviously bullet point one on kind of like the slower market. And I've been talking to a lot of people, um, you know, doing a lot of calls and I think a lot of longs in the past year or so have gotten very lucky um, trading off of bad habits. And so what do I mean by that? Well, I think number one is like, uh, you have a stock kind of pop up on your radar, you have, um, you know, that ticker that everyone's talking about, and automatically you just FOMO in and you get rewarded for like maybe 40, 50 cents, you sell out, you're like, wow, trading so easy. And there's been a lot of times, I mean, that has been slowing down. But there were a ton of times in the last year where we had a ton of traders say, wow, I had my first green month as a long, um, you know, we had, we had a lot of people saying, oh yeah, and, 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 and when I would talk to people and say, well, you know, that entry was a bit of a chase, um, you know, obviously if you watch my videos, you know, I'm not a particular fan when stocks get, you know, overextended very, very kind of away from VWAP. Um, you know, again, the more deviated they get, the more that the more that shorts are going to be trapped. Um, but also when all the shorts cover out and we're so deviated that the stock um, kind of is, is expected or needs to kind of come down and take a breather, um, you know, I don't I don't like longing up there for that kind of reason, um, because once we just have all long stuck in a stock, you know, the, the natural thing is that they're just going to press the sell button and that's it. We get our natural bidders and, and we move lower. But I think a lot of people did get really, really rewarded for some, some bad habits. And that's not to say that you're a bad trader or that's not to say that um, you should automatically give up because you made money chasing. Um, I think it's just that... Uh, you know, those habits are not going to continue working in an environment like this. And so when you see a green candle or you see something or automatically ABC is getting some random volume and you just need to be the first one in out of FOMO, that's something that you need to to kind of curb, especially in a market like this, if you do want to keep your profits. Um, you know, I've been talking to some people where they had a really great January, they had a really great February, you know. Uh, March, they were kind of starting to slow down a bit. And now April, they've kind of hit a bit of a roadblock where they're kind of break even ish, or they're losing a bit, or they're having five losing trades and one winning trade is making that back. And they've been getting kind of rewarded. Hey guys, my name is Tosh Bradley. I'm one of the head mentors and moderators at My Investing Club. If you have any questions about getting started in trading, getting started in MIC, MIC in general, text me at 213-458-5997. This is not a robot. It is me directly on the other end of my business line, and uh, we'll get you in the club. We also have special promotions going on that I can get to you depending on your trading needs. Hit me up. Back to the video. Um off of revenge trading and just things like that. And so I think the way to kind of combat um, what's kind of going on right now is really just be super patient. You know, I talked about this a while ago as well, where, you know, the times where I, I didn't care about making money and when I just came to the market and focused on the process and said, you know, it, the P&L will be a reflection of how well I trade my process that's really when I grew as a trader because automatically right there, I detached a little bit from that 
day-to-day uh, -day, uh, p l fluctuation. I think what really happened with me is that I said, okay, you know, I'm gonna work on getting better every day. I'm gonna work on following the process every single day. And if a stock goes up without me, so be it. I would rather stick to the process every single day than get rewarded for bad habits. And what kind of happened to me is I just slowly kind of snowballed and got better and better and better. And so I think that that is, that's, a, that's a huge mindset to kind of develop. And I think that that's a huge mindset to acquire. But that's not something that, you know, you can't achieve. I think that, you know, you just need to purely focus on that kind of process. You know, if you're a long trader and first bounce is your setup and you see a line at 3.4 and, um, you know, you buy at 3.4, and you know the stock keeps moving up and then you sell that's a good process trade right you know but if you're a, a first bounce trader and you see a random xyz stock swipe up and you're just like wow this is what i need to get in what if this is the next whatever um you, all this kind of fomo talk kind of gets in your head oh my god this could be the next amazon the next apple i'm not saying anyone really says that but like let's just let's just say People are saying that this thing cures cancer. You got to get in long because, you know, the train's going to leave without you. And then all of, all of a sudden, you know, uh, the stock starts dumping and you're there taking another loss because that was an emotional decision out of FOMO. Like, in my opinion, a green candle is not good enough to buy a stock. Just because you see a green candle does not mean that that is a great time to buy a stock, right? You need to have other factors, okay? Okay. Um, are, are short sellers trapped in the in the scenario, right? Where where are where do you think that uh, the majority of long traders are stuck from? Um, you know, it, is this a, a stock where where we were trading at five dollars pre market and now we're at three and we're starting to get a little bit of a green swipe? You know, something like that is something that I'm going to be definitely cautious with, right? Because that's a broken stock. I'm going to be I'm going to be away from that. Um, so you need to say, okay, who's trapped in this scenario? I'm, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to see uh, what has kind of gone on um, before I've traded the stock to kind of jump right into it. I'm not going to get into a stock just because, you know, it's easy to hype a stock up and be like, oh my God, like, you know, this stock is a broken one, but I've seen a broken one run before. So this could be the broken one that runs. So I'm just going to buy the broken one. But in reality, that's like, like 5% of le or less broken stocks, you know, tend to run. Um, it's on the ones that do, you usually can't get a good entry on. And it's on the ones that do that just kind of swipe right up. Um, there was one that caught, caught Alex. I, I don't know which stock it was. I forget it, but it caught Alex. And like, you can't at, like even expect me to long that because there's just no, there's no supply to get in, right? It's just these continuous swipes all the way up. And then when you finally can get in, it's either A, overextended from VWAP, or B, it's after a massive death candle, so you don't want to touch it. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.